Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Jack. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking through how to actually render banner videos for your Facebook page, whether that be your personal page, your, your brand page, whatever it is. Uh, this page on screen right now is my personal page. This is TQ9 TV. I run this with my partner Noah. We, uh, we basically just do live event videos, music videos, all sorts of stuff pretty much based around music, but not exclusive to music. And overall, that is our brand page. So we've got a pretty nice video when you open this up, pretty nice cover video up there. And um, overall, this is just a nice little element to your Facebook page, definitely makes it more entertaining than just, for example, a boring picture up there, or some people just have nothing up there, which is kind of absurd to me. But without further ado, guys, let's get into how to create Facebook cover videos in Premiere Pro. Okay guys, so what you want to do is go ahead and open up Premiere Pro, quite obviously, and we're going to want to create a brand new sequence. The way you do that is you go up to File, new and sequence and we are actually going to want to go over and go to settings and just change this to a custom sequence and that is going to enable us to change the frame size and actually start creating this to be just a, a, a more specified for facebook um, type of project right here and the dimensions we want to put in are 820 by 462 that is the dimensions that facebook actually suggests themselves for a banner video and the time length they suggest as well is about 20 to 90 seconds so uh, about half a minute to um damn near a full minute hold tight <laughs> god damn it someone's texting me right now um I, that was dumb i shouldn't pick that up but anyways once we've actually created our sequence right here we want to go ahead and bring in some clips so I've just imported some clips. Um, let's just go ahead and throw these ones in here, see what they're saying. Um, keep existing settings, yes. Um, I believe these are 4K clips, so it's probably trying to update. Let me just go ahead and, um, by the way guys, if if you're importing some 4K footage and, um, or 1920, uh, 1080p footage, 4K footage, whatever, obviously this is a much lower dimension, so if you look at it, it's just gone crazy. To get all clips actually doing correct, you just want to highlight them all, right click them and go set to frame size, and boom, that's obviously going to pop up there. However, it looks like um, you're actually going to want to right click and go scale to frame size. Whoa, that, never mind, set, set to frame size. That's some pretty weird shit, it kind of cuts off the top. Um, I'm not too sure about that, that's a little bit weird, but oh well, here's a few clips that we've imported, um, and I want to grab a couple more probably. Um, Here's a couple here, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's bring those in. Whoa, that's a long ass. That's a long one there. That's probably future. Yep, almost definitely. Let's set the frame size. All right, cool. Boom, so I'm actually gonna delete those right there. But here we go. Here is a few clips that we have now to actually get around this kind of weird black bar thing at the top. Um, if that does happen for you as well, let's just kind of adjust the scale until it is on screen, boom. So at about 25 yeah 25 is on screen now let's just copy that scale and i'm just going to do that to all the clips so all the other uh, clips are at the same scale um obviously the facebook banner dimensions is quite small because it's a uh, 820 by 462 but that's actually a good thing that'll start making all your clips start looking really really nice and vivid um and even higher quality to be honest because you're just dropping the quality uh you're dropping the, the dimensions down um, and then obviously, simple as that, um, you're probably going to want to mute the track. Um, with, our, with, with our video on our Facebook page, we don't have any audio to it. Um, I think it's kind of pointless to put audio there because you have to click and actually turn on the audio if you wanted to listen to it as, as someone visiting the page. So I would suggest removing all audio from it and just focusing on actually getting a nice visual. And at this point, then it really is just to compile the nicest clips. So for example, I know there's a pretty nice bit here. Boom, when this DJ comes in. Um, let's go ahead and delete that. And then you just guys, you just want to create yourself a nice sequence. So that starts shaking there at the end. Let's get rid of that. Boom. What's this next clip? These guys are going crazy here. Um, I'm, I'm just going to be doing a totally, totally rough edit guys. An entirely rough edit. <laughs> like it's not even funny how rough this is right now, but at this point, really, it's just, um, you guys know the basic gist of everything. All you have to do is just compile your clips, get the nicest clips that you actually want, and then I'll show you, um, once I just compile a couple more clips, the perfect render settings for actually getting the highest quality Facebook banner. Um, boom. So this DJ is going in. Uh, I always get indigestion when I'm recording these tutorials, I swear, but boom, we actually have just achieved a little mini, a mini bit of the edit. 
let's just go down here and just see if we have any other clips laying around. Obviously, there's this guy right here. Whoa. Let's get that set, set to frame size. Obviously, pop that on 25. And here is just a nice 20, uh, 23 second sequence of just some random ass clips. Complete random ass clips. My sequence is not very good at all, guys. <laughs> Please make your sequence more interesting, uh, much better than this. But obviously, I'm not actually going to put this on my Facebook banner or anything like that. This is just an example. We've already got a really nice Facebook banner video. But boom. Once you guys have actually done the sequence right here, and it is between 20 seconds and 90 seconds long, um, and obviously 820 by 462 dimensions, you are going to want to go up here to render it. Go ahead, go to export media. And you're going to want to, of course, get H.264. Boom. And honestly, um, you can just do the match source high bit rate. But the things you guys actually want to pay attention to just to get the nicest, crispest quality is to render at maximum bit depth. To use the maximum render quality, use previews that could actually potentially speed it up. I'm going to go ahead and save it here as um, example for Facebook cover. Ooh, Facebook cover. Bow. And then... Simply export it like that. Let's wait for this to quickly download there and I'll show you how to upload it to the Facebook But I'm not actually gonna fully upload mine. I'll just show you how to go about doing it basically So hold tight. We're gonna come back when this thing finishes uploading or downloading or rendering <laughs> And we'll get started with the actual uploading to Facebook. Boom. That is just rendered I have to take a quick sip of water We can now shut down Premiere Pro and we know we do have the file So now if we go ahead and go over to Facebook boom Let's load up Facebook, go over to your page. This is mine, of course, TQ9TV. Oh, I clicked on the about accidentally. Let's go back to the home. This is, of course, our, our video currently, and all you have to do is hover up here to change cover. That's lagging a bit because I'm recording my screen. Change cover, and all you have to do is upload a photo slash video. Simple as that. Obviously, you would then find your example. So that's, well, you, yours wouldn't be an example, but for me, I'm finding my example. And that is it. Then, of course, you just simply upload, and boom, when you refresh the page, you are going to have a very, very nice cover Facebook cover video just like that and Facebook cover videos is the thing um, if in 2018 you're using a Facebook cover picture Honestly, you're slacking you're behind um, <laughs> I'm a little bit hyped about this now, but yes, hell yeah guys. I hope you enjoyed the video if you did um, Like comment subscribe all that stuff. I'll be Jack Chris Jack Cole subscribe to my channel for more video production video editing Overall video production theme videos every single day or damn near every single day. Have a nice day and goodbye